everybody, I'm Boris Feiler, I'm an evolutionary astrologer and I'm here with the evolutionary astrology message for the week between the 12th and the 19th of October 2019. I want to remind everybody that there's an online beginners and intermediate group that is going to open within two and a half weeks and we still have one spot free for the uh, beginners group and we have two spots for the intermediate group I mean if there if, if you want to join the beginners and you are coming with a body that's okay we can uh, even have two groups so don't worry about it um, but if you do want to join do contact me my details are at the end of this video so this is where I talk about celestial transits that affect all of us all zodiac signs and you know we have a lot going on in the sky this week it's a full moon coming and it's an intense energy that is in the sky this week and sometimes you know i try to be more focused on the important stuff and i emit days you know because i go along the week and sometimes if there's a day that i have nothing specific to say on i just emit it and people write in the comments what about friday you didn't say anything about friday and I didn't forget Friday, you know, like, I don't want you to rely on me. The whole point of these videos, of these videos are to help you cultivate an autonomous relationship with the sacred, with that eternal sacredness and light and life and creation or creator or creatress that has been pulsing within you from the moment you remember yourself and that will be there along with you until your last breath and later on once you leave this body you would continue to be a part of as your energy is recollected so you are really part of that sacredness of that creation of that godly heavenly sanctity that I can only talk on but I could never drink from that well for you that's something you'd have to learn to do for yourself and the whole reason I do these videos is to empower and to provide you with some kind of uplifting and, and, and a craving to cultivate that relationship on your own not to rely on anybody else but actually to have that force run within you on a very intimate manner and relationship so let's see how these transits actually fall into the weekdays so actually Sunday we're having already this opposition between Venus the planet of relationships of income of our relationship really with the material plane with our senses with the satisfaction that we have from living in a body that has these needs this is a time of change this is a time of instability don't look for stability in your relationships or in your work environment look for an upgrade look to do things outside the box and if there's need to progress please have enough tolerance and, and patience and respect for the people and the projects that you are already a part of that are already a part of your life don't throw away don't be throwing away babies with bath waters okay because that's the worst mistake we could do but it's a lucky time I mean both the Sun and the moon are in beautiful aspects to Jupiter on Sunday the 13th um, 
we're coming up to the full moon it's an energy packed time these days for ill or for good <coughs> um, I mean we'll need to know how to control these energies and it's a bit of a double whammy this full moon because oh that was a fast motorcycle because it's a moon in Aries which is already childish and emotional enough not to say aggressive okay not to say intolerant it's also what we call T-squaring Pluto, which is the higher octave of Mars. So if Mars is anger, Pluto is rage. If Mars is the action uh, that comes out on, on, on top, on, on, top uh, on the ground, you know, uh, then Pluto would be the emotion and the desire that actually motivated that action. So it's T squaring that Pluto, that Hades god of the underworld and volcanoes, all that emotional lava that is intensifying all these energies, and it's as if that we we you know we could think we we'll know you know that we we'll know how to handle this storm, and then it hits us with a double whammy, and boom, we're tumbling in it, us. So we're so progressed and, 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 and sure that we are above these things. And here we are rolling in the storm in that soup with everybody else. So be humble and understand that the, this is a time that requires us to move forward. And sometimes in that intense movement forward and that time of self-assertion and individualization these are energies that are carried with this full moon and it's a very creative time and it's a very sexual time as well so if you have somebody to be positively sexual with you know um, it's a great time to actually channel all these energies to that realm <laughs> you know both Mars and Pluto are um, sexual archetypes in astrology so um, this is a time coming back to what I was saying before this is a time that we need to understand that actually meeting our own demons meeting our own shadows has a value us understanding that we're imperfect that we're flawed that we have so much road in front of us so much more to climb and transcend and transform this is what this time is really about and understanding that it's not all the people around us that are sick it's not society that is sick it's us this is a reflection of who we are and understanding that there's so much darkness within us and within our world on the one hand and accepting that darkness not because we love it, but because we love us and we love the cultivation of something more beautiful and wholesome and, and lighter and, 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 and healthier. <laughs> we love the work. That's why we came here. If everything was perfect in the first place, we wouldn't be here. You wouldn't be here. <laughs> I wouldn't be here. So we need to approach all of that energy and the next week the coming week with a lot of sensitivity and a lot of love self-love and love for others and acceptance you know and softness don't let this energy lead you by the nose into being too conflictual or aggressive either with yourself or with anybody else in your life because as I said, this is an unstable time, both in your relationships with others and in your relationship with income. If you'll be rocking the boat and too rebellious, you might pay the price. So this is a very emotionally intense time. And I don't want you to underestimate the power of this storm to create turbulence for us in our personal relationships and and uh, in our in our lives in general and of course on a public level as well 
you could see people getting to extremes very fast you know I don't know if, if we could measure things well at this time it's as if we could go to a, from a zero to a hundred or a zero to sixty um, in no time and reap the consequences only later you know but the good thing is is that mercury the planet of cognition and communication is sextiling saturn on monday the 14th as well and that really provides some sense of consistiality of um common sense flowing into this soup you know and a need to put things that to be more stable and and maybe look at things in a more um, adult and and responsible way you know do things as they should be done and that pulls on the restraints a little bit on a time that is really quite restrainless then the moon goes into Taurus it's exalted in Taurus and we're having Tuesday and Wednesday that are generally very nice in the sky and can provide us with a sense of a lot of satisfaction and our satisfaction from our relationships can be heightened our need for satisfaction in general can be heightened and the key to these days is to satisfy yourself to rely on emotional to on self emotional satisfaction through these days and really think outside the box allow yourself to be flexible and these are great days for creativity for inspiration if you're a dancer if you're a painter if you're a sculptor if you're a writer if you're anybody dealing with creativity these are amazing days to actually manifest things from the ether to this plane in a wonderful manner and even if you're not going outside to nature seeing nature at this time can be profound as uh, in the 16th we're having Mercury trine Neptune as well on the 17th very energetic day the moon is already in Gemini a lot faster the pace was a lot faster and it's trining Mars and Friday the 18th moon still in Libra uh, still in uh, Gemini uh, um, opposing Jupiter so be careful with saying too much or wanting to hear too much and just you know the 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 mental energy could be too intense and we need to put limits to things and saturday as the moon draws into its ruling sign of cancer its ruling sign of cancer it would be an amazing time to be with the people closest to you whether they they'd be your blood relatives or just the people you feel are your clan you know and it's a nice day but it's a sensitive day as well as the moon is squaring Chiron it is however joining the Sun so we could feel a sense of companionship between the feminine and the masculine at this time I want to thank you for listening and sharing these videos and I hope that at these crucial times you will grow, cultivate and spread the light both within yourself and within your environments and surroundings. May you live long and prosper. Bye-bye.